Today's extract is from The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. This tells the tale of Bruno, a German boy during World War II, oblivious to its horrors. Forced to move to a remote house near a concentration camp, he befriends Schmuel, a Jewish boy on the other side of the fence. Tragic consequences unfold as their innocence collides with the brutality of war, culminating in a heartbreaking ending. In this extract, Schmuel talks to Bruno about the horrific train ride he was forced on by the Nazis to get to Auschwitz. Here are your questions. Number one. How do you know that this journey was traumatic for Schmuel? Number two. How do you know Bruno doesn't understand how bad it was? And number three. What happened to Schmuel when he arrived at the camp? What I want you to think about for your discussion question is... How is it that people from two different backgrounds can get on? Then one day, the soldiers all came with huge trucks, continued Schmuel, who didn't seem interested in Gretel, and everyone was told to leave the houses. Lots of people didn't want to, and hid wherever they could find a place, but in the end I think they caught everyone, and the trucks took us to a train, and the train... He hesitated for a moment and bit his lip. Bruno thought he was going to start crying and could not understand why. The train was horrible, said Schmuel. There were too many of us in the carriages for one thing, and there was no air to breathe, and it smelled awful. That's because you all crowded onto one train, said Bruno, remembering the two trains he had seen at the station when he left Berlin. When we came here there was another one on the other side of the platform, but no one seemed to see it. That was the one we got. You should have got on that too. I don't think we would have been allowed, said Schmuel, shaking his head. We weren't able to get out of our carriage. The doors are at the end, explained Bruno. There weren't any doors, said Schmuel. Of course there were doors, said Bruno with a sigh. They're at the end, he repeated, just past the buffet section. There weren't any doors, insisted Schmuel. If there had been, we would have all got off. Bruno mumbled something under his breath along the lines of, of course there were, but he didn't say it out loud, so Schmuel didn't hear. When the train finally stopped, continued Schmuel, we were in a very cold place and we all had to walk here. We had a car, said Bruno out loud now. A mama was taken away from us, and Papa and Joseph and I were put in the huts over there, and that's where we've been ever since. Schmuel looked very sad when he told this story, and Bruno didn't know why. It didn't seem like such a terrible thing to him, and after all, much the same thing had happened to him.
Here are the answers to your questions. Number one, he was forced onto a train in terrible conditions and it looked like he was going to start crying when he talks about the journey. Number two, he thinks people can move around on the train and doesn't understand that they were forced to go. And number three, he was separated from his mother. Thank you very much for listening. And if you have any text that you would like to suggest, please do let me know.